dude, I can't. Like, it, it's hard not to get emotional. That that cross face crippler. I mean, do oh my gosh, he was he was so ahead of his time. And and my my father, you know, because he had Oklahoma and Louisiana and and and, and Mississippi and, and Arkansas and Georgia championship runs. He understand he understood demographics. So my father, way back back, were bring being bringing in Guerreros and and you know he he was bringing in he I mean the Russians and depending on the political atmosphere. So you see this guy that you can tell knows and loves. Um, uh, the sport in, in eats and breathes it. And I remember him coming up. He, one night we were getting ready to go out and wrestle, and he literally was kicking the, the, the cinder block wall of wherever we were at, the Atlanta Dome or whatever. And when I say he was kicking the dog shit out of this wall, like I'm like, he's going to kick the brick. And he's warming up, and I, and I said, hey, big guy, uh, I hope you don't do that with me out there. And he goes, brother, you got to warm up like it's a street fight. And literally, that was his face. And that's how he was in the ring. And then all of a sudden, when he popped out, the kindest guy in the world. Matter of fact, um, when I went to Germany, um, it was Franz Schumann and Finley's and these guys that knew that me and Benoit were friends. They stayed in communication. And Benoit told them, this kid's the true deal. Like, he wants to learn. And that helped afford me because I always went up to anyone I could and said, hey, could we train today or would you show up? Now, most of your guys don't want to show up six hours early to kayfabe train with someone. Bro, I didn't come to wrestling to get a check. I came to wrestling just like I came to football. I wanted to be a Heisman Trophy winner. I wanted to win the national championship. I did not do either, but I dead gum prepped for that that way. I, I didn't want to be Hulk Hogan or Cowboy Bill Watts. I wanted to be bigger than I, – I, I was never bigger than Hulk Hogan or Cowboy Bill Watts, uh, uh, but that's the way I train. And Benoit, this guy that I worked with and, and, and knew, he blesses me when I'm there because we were just all talking. And they go, hey, so are you and Chris friends? I go, why? We're talking to Chris. And he found out you're over here in Germany. And he, and he said, take care of you. And I said, so does that mean we work out? And I literally had the best of the best guys coming down and working out in the flipping ring with me. And, and that got me heat with a lot of people. They're like, who's this guy? Well, first of all, bro, I had a lot of heat with a lot of guys because I asked. I'd go to Harley Race or Sting or Steiner or, or it didn't matter who and say, hey, uh, if you're in the town early tomorrow, they set the ring up around noon. Well, would you, go, would you go wrestle? Because everyone else was going to a school and stuff. Remember, I had 21 days or 23 days in the school. I had to learn. I had keys to the gym. Every day that I had off, beat up or not, when I got back to Atlanta, I went to the school because, man, I had to catch up. I had to catch up, guys.